Hi, my name is Will Cavan, and I'm a senior product manager with Amazon S3. Today, I'm looking forward to talking with you about Amazon S3's data encryption options. When we talk about encryption in Amazon S3, what are we actually talking about? Well, S3 supports a few types of encryption. You can encrypt your data client side with AWS Encryption SDK. We support encrypting data in transit, and we have three options for encrypting your data at rest. With that, let's dive in. Amazon S3 offers customers the ability to encrypt data client side with the AWS Encryption SDK, encrypt data in transit with SSL TLS, and encrypt data server side through three different options depending on how you choose to manage the encryption keys. Starting in January 2023, AWS began automatically encrypting all new objects uploaded to Amazon S3 that didn't already have encryption specified with SSE S3, also known as Amazon S3 Managed Keys. This change puts another security best practice into effect automatically with no impact on performance and no action required on your side. AWS also offers encryption keys from AWS Key Management Service if you need an encryption key that is unique to you. Finally, some organizations want to bring their own keys, so AWS offers SSEC or customer provided keys. For customers that want to use Amazon encryption keys, Let's break things down a bit more. If you simply have a requirement to encrypt your data at rest, AWS recommends SSE S3. S3 manages the key policies and rotation, allowing you to easily share your data across account. If you want to use AWS KMS keys, also known as SSE KMS, an AWS managed key will allow you to log Amazon S3's calls to AWS KMS to encrypt or decrypt your objects. It may be important if you have auditing requirements. If data shareability is important, AWS recommends you use AWS KMS Custer Managed Keys, which allow you to manage your key policies for who can encrypt or decrypt your data. Additionally, with Custer Managed Keys, you control the key rotation schedule. If you choose to encrypt your objects using AWS Managed Key or a Customer Managed Key, AWS KMS and Amazon S3 perform the following envelope encryption actions. Upon uploading your object, Amazon S3 requests a plain text data key and a data key encrypted by your KMS key. Then Amazon S3 encrypts the object using the data key and removes the plain text key from memory as soon as possible after use. Finally, Amazon S3 stores the encrypted data as metadata with the encrypted object. Later, when you call a Git on your object, it has to be decrypted, so Amazon S3 and AWS KMS perform the following actions. Amazon S3 sends the encrypted data key to AWS KMS in a decrypt request. Then AWS KMS decrypts the encrypted data key with your KMS key and returns the plain text data key to Amazon S3. Finally, Amazon S3 decrypts the encrypted object using the plain text data key and removes the plain text data key from memory as soon as possible after use. Again, AWS began encrypting all new objects uploaded to Amazon S3 by default in January 2023, automating a security best practice. If you want to use SSE KMS with AWS Managed Keys or Customer Managed Keys, the easiest way to enforce this behavior is through Amazon S3 default encryption on your buckets. This bucket level setting allows you to set the default encryption behavior to preferred server-side encryption mode. If you want to use SSE KMS, we strongly recommend you enable S3 bucket keys. S3 bucket keys are a cost-saving feature designed to help you lower your AWS KMS request cost by up to 99%. When you configure your bucket to use S3 bucket keys for SSC KMS, AWS generates a short-lived bucket level key from AWS KMS and then temporarily keeps that key in S3. This bucket level key is used to encrypt new objects during its life cycle. S3 bucket keys are used for time limited period within Amazon S3, reducing the need for S3 to make requests to AWS KMS to complete encryption operations. This reduces traffic from S3 to AWS KMS, allowing you to access AWS KMS encrypted objects in Amazon S3 at a fraction of the previous cost. If you choose to encrypt your object using S3 bucket keys, AWS KMS and Amazon S3 perform the following encryption actions. First, upon uploading your object and selecting S3 bucket keys, 
S3 will call AWS KMS to generate a short-lived bucket level key. This bucket level key is encrypted via your specified KMS key. This short-lived bucket level key will generate a plain text data key to encrypt your object. Amazon S3 encrypts the object using the plain text data key and removes the plain text data key from memory as soon as possible after use. Finally, Amazon S3 stores the encrypted bucket level key as metadata with your encrypted object. Within the bucket level keys, time limited life, you don't have to make additional calls to KMS on the next put request. So Amazon S3 performs the following encryption actions. Upon uploading your object, the short lived bucket level key will generate a new plain text data key to encrypt your object. Amazon S3 encrypts the object using the plain text data key and removes the plain text data key from memory as soon as possible after use. Amazon S3 stores the encrypted bucket level key as metadata with your encrypted object. This saves additional KMS request costs. In fact, AWS customers using S3 bucket keys have saved over $80 million on AWS key management services. Finally, it's important for customers to verify their data is encrypted. Amazon S3 Storage Lens delivers organization-wide visibility into object storage usage, activity trends, and makes actionable recommendations to optimize cost and apply data protection best practices. S3 Storage Lens delivers more than 60 metrics on S3 storage usage and activity to an interactive dashboard in the S3 console. Free metrics are provided to all customers at no charge, while advanced metrics can be enabled for a monthly per object monitoring charge to receive additional metrics, prefix level insights, extended data retention, recommendations, and the option to publish metrics to Amazon CloudWatch. After implementing your preferred encryption mode, you can use S3 Storage Lens to gain insights into the encryption status of your existing objects with views at the bucket, account, and organization level. S3 Storage Lens can help you identify buckets that may have unencrypted data from before Amazon S3 introduced encryption by default. These insights can help you remediate non-compliant data. As your organization looks to innovate faster and at scale, you need ways to meet critical compliance requirements and improve data security. Encryption is a critical component of a defense in depth strategy, and when used correctly, can provide an additional layer of protection above basic access control. Amazon S3 data encryption not only helps ensure your data is protected, but enables you to ensure it is protected the way you want it to be. I hope you found this overview video helpful as you implement your data encryption strategy. Thank you for your time.